hi Ron, I think I'm live. Is this working? Yeah, might be working. Um, so it's been a little while um, since I've done anything like this. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem to work at all. It might be working. Um, I'll change all the settings so it should be working. Um, what this is is a quick update. Obviously, it's locked down, hence shaved head. <laughs> facial hair, terrible facial hair actually. Um, but I wanted to update you on what I've done in the past couple of months, um, what I'm doing and then what's next. Um, and I was interested. Um, I'm only doing this actually because I had quite a lot of um, hits since lockdown. Um, so you've used up 88%. How about that? That's quite exciting. Um, didn't really expect anything to sort of come with this, but it's been quite fun. I've been enjoying it. Um, and I still want to keep building these Lego things as well. Um, frustrating thing is that people are doing it a lot better than me <laughs> already. So um, there's lots of like resources out there that I've discovered as well, um, and lots of help um, from people in the sort of Lego and Rocket community, which has been which has been great. But I just wanted to put you on what I've been doing. Um, so first things first, I've got some little ones. Um, I know these are the same to the to the right scale. Uh, same with the Saturn Five. Um, so if we pop this next for a, a little Lego astronaut, so we can see the actual size of these in the capsule. So this is the um, Mercury Redstone, um, which took the first American into space, um, and you can see it's this very um, Pop it on the camera. Very few pieces. Only cost about five quid, something like that, to get all the all the bits and pieces for it. Um I think it looks great. I really like it. Um very light, it feels quite solid. Um it's got these like little door pieces which I think is very cool for the fin. Um I've like car doors. Um the sort of tricky bit of it was around this bit. Um within here there's an axle. Which um, is a little bit too wide. Um, I've done a great job already, but you can see, I think, that they're starting to bow. Those little button pieces at the bottom are starting to bow out a little bit. So, what I did was I filed down the axle as much as I sort of dared to. And it's getting kind, quite flimsy, but that allowed that to be a little more, a lot more straight. It wasn't sort of bowed out a little bit too much. Um, but I think that's done pretty well. Quite happy with that. Um, uh, that was designed by Parzival, by the way. Um, again, taking no credit for any of this. You know, I just, I'm just following instructions. Um, I also built this Lego rockets. Built this one, which is the um, Atlas rocket, Mercury Atlas, um, which took the first American into all. Um, and this has got the, the stage and a half. So it's got the first well, mini stage and then the main stage. Then obviously these bits all come off. Um, various stages join the flight. Um, how about that? That looks cool, doesn't it? It's got, it's got a few more pieces. It's cost about a tenner. Um, all those little bits and pieces. This is the version three um, version of the rocket, the third version. Um, I got updated on screen up in like two years ago, 2018, about this, about this time of year. Um, because it's got like cool little bits of detail. These like little fins I quite like. Um, some uh, struts. And as it sort of comes out, it's yeah, this looks just really good, doesn't it? I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so that's that's that one. And as I said, Lego Rockets designed that one. Again to the right scale, it's all good. Let's see if I can do anything to uh, increase the quality of this because it feels like I'm. I'm a little bit pixelated. I don't think I could do anything to burst this stage, but anyway, I say I tried. I didn't try. Um, what we're doing today? So, um, almost finished my Apollo collection. Um, one rocket is obviously remaining, and that's the Gemini rocket, um, which took Americans into orbit and also helped them to sort of do the um, rendezvous mechanism. So I've got pieces, 
Uh, it might go to two different shops. It's probably about 20 quid for the pieces for this one. So a few more pieces. A um, couple, couple where these came from. Um, doesn't say anywhere on here. No, but thank you. Um, these pieces came from Canada. Um, the Canada First Bricks team. Um, all from um, Bricklink, of course. Um, and they're still working during lockdown, which is great. Because it means that we can get legoing still while we're all trapped indoors. Um, so, also, thanks for any sort of feedback I've had over the last couple of videos that they're very shonky put together. Um, it's just, you know, this is just a bit of a bit of fun for me. You know, I'm not expecting anything out of it, as I always say. Um, if you are interested, I will keep going. Um, just, you know, show that things are working for you. Like, subscribe, give me some feedback. Um, whatever, I, I try and do as well as I can with the sort of the equipment and the setup I've got. And I'm sort of limited to what I can do, but I will try my best to make them as informative and cool as possible. Obviously, I'm in a spare room with walk around work and kids and all that stuff, so we'll do what we can do. So let's reorg this camera as best we can. Oh, I forgot how this was. Okay, that was last time. Here's my balls here. Oh, I think I balanced it last time, which is probably why this isn't working as well as it probably could. There's the motion sickness elements of the air. Let's just move some stuff out of the way. I try not to jostle the air. Desk too much. I've got some desk space. That's, that's called this sort of the work area, at least this here. Um, but let's start knowing some of these pieces there, I guess. Um, yeah, so. What's my favourite bit, as you all know? If you watched these videos before. Getting all the pieces out, and I'm not um, not thinking this is going to be a long build. Um, I think it's going to be quite a short one, to be fair. Um, which is all good. I'm trying to sort of mop up the little ones, which are really not building still. Obviously, um, some great designs, and the, the skill that goes into building these small ones to the same scale and still getting the details so that you recognise what these things are is incredible. Um, obviously I'm just massively jealous of all the time of keep up with that kind of skill uh, when I'm able to do these things because I, am, I can't, I'm terrible at this stuff. I tried designing the um, Rocinante from The Expanse. I've got a studio um, Lego Studio and to try and <laughs> design that out. Uh, it wasn't working for me. It's it's not my my wheelhouse, it's not my skill set to do this kind of thing, you know. It's I like I like the building. Um the designing is something that I'm just never gonna be very good at, I don't think. Um these pieces and we've got next stuff. Uh, does that look too far away for a front? Oh, you can see that, it's all good. Just, um, number one on the to do list, try and set up a proper way of recording an area so that you see my, my half full cups of tea and various desk toys. There's got to be a way on there. Some of these are stuck together already, so let's, let's use teeth. That's the easier way. The two get his studs out. Yeah, lots of cool little bits. I like little bits. You learn about Lego just by 
going through what is actually in, available for requires, so it's quite exciting. Okay. So what do we know about the the Germany missions? So Germany was set up between Mercury and Apollo Saturn. Of course, it was the sort of the middle one. Um, they hired and recruited a new set of astronauts to get them through it. Um, so then the old astronauts were removed from roster, so it was a completely new setup. I believe they had the, the new mission control oh excuse me building um, to oversee the Germany rockets because what Germany tried to do was infinitely more complicated than what Mercury tried to do. So Mercury's mission was to get Americans in space. Um, and they had to all be using the first two rockets, the, the Redstone and the Atlas. Um, and they achieved that goal successfully behind Russia, of course, that everyone knows. But um, they managed to get. So Germany was the opportunity to get ahead of Russia. That was the, the, the mission. And what Russia hadn't made out to do was to rendezvous um, to spacecraft in space. Um, so Germany was, that was the design for it, it was to go up, meet something else and come back down again. Um, and it was also to elongate time and space um, and I guess some uh, science around um, how long people can be in space for. That kind of thing. So the, the missions were mostly around um, putting people in space for a much longer time and meeting an Agena rocket that was, that was thrust into space you know, 10 days ahead of time, which was unmanned. Generally, it was manned by two people. Um, I think we can start doing this thing now. Um, let's get my steps up. Right, so. Don't tell me the first piece is wrong. <laughs> um, again, I'm sort of using a studio, so. I might have slightly different coloured pieces as to what I'm expecting to see here. Um, which is so good. But <laughs> I really think I really think I don't have the first piece. Um, I assume it's my spares. That might be actually. Look, I've got a, a big stack of spares from what I've been doing over time here. Um, things that have fallen off. So I think I can make that work. <laughs> first heard of. Welcome to Lego. Um, so this is on the screen. This is this one's expected to be light bluish grey, the same colour as this little flower piece. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Step one. Not quite correct. <laughs> um, just double check that I'm not missing out on something obvious here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what? I had the, instru I had the um, instructions for the Atlas rockets to love. Oh, oh, that was a score boy, huh? Right, revert, revert, revert. So to give you information on, on who created the rockets previous, I had the, the page up for the different rockets. So that's good news, that's good news. It's pretty stupid, but it's good news. Let's see what we're doing. Uh -huh. So one of those. Ah uh, no, again, I think we're our piece missing. <laughs> I don't have a replacement of that piece. Well what a start. What a start. Let's just uh double check some of the orders here. Yeah, that's disappointing. Ah, oh, man. Oh well. So, 
we're missing pieces, unfortunately. It happens. Um, I don't know if I can I just target my nolling. I don't know that actually. So that's that's a big shame. But this is the risk you take. To be fair, I probably should have looked before I set this up to go. Which is good, so we can have this as like a quick update anyway. Um, so I've been blown away by the response already from uh, analytics for YouTube and, and the amount of people that are watching this stuff. I know the videos are very long, um, which is the idea of doing a shorter one this time around. Oh well, next time. Um, but I'm going to keep going for it. So the, the immediate plans are um, to keep going. So I'll finish the Apollo rocket soon. What I want to do is modify the Saturn V. Um, I found some mods for it, um, which change quite drastically a lot of the, the structure um, and the aesthetics of it, um, which looks really good um, and affordable as well. It just makes it a little bit more unique, I guess. Um, so I'll be looking at doing that. I'm also looking into um, the shuttle uh, and building that out to the right scale. So LEGO did have a set that wasn't very accurate. Um, so, what I, so what I found is um, a custom build that builds that out and it will end up sort of up to there, that size. Um, I guess that five. The tricky with that is that one piece costs, I think it's about 200 quid for four of these deep orange pieces. So what I've done is I've matched the colour for that. So I'm going to buy the piece in a different colour, paint it up, see if that works. Um, if not, I'm going to have to buy the ball and spend 200 quid, which I don't really want to do on that game. Just for four pieces of Lego. Um, but yeah, that's the immediate future plans. Um, I might start by building the shuttle separately, um, just so I've got the size of that, um, and then start building the thrusters out. But um, yeah, this is a, definitely an ongoing process for me. Um, what I'll do is I'll go back to the drawing board, make sure I've got all the missing parts and I'll come back in a week or two with part two of this video. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> At least you got to see the Mercury ones. Well, have a good lockdown. Um, stay safe. See you later, everyone.